Alright, hey, hey, this is Meg here, and today I'm shooting a video on me installing some new door speakers, alright? More specifically, the front door speakers. I think the rears are, are kind of similar, but I'm gonna just focus on the front doors today. Um, I shot a separate video on how to replace the dash speakers, so if you want to learn how to do that, check that video out. I'll put that at the end of the video description. Um, so, what I will be installing today. Our, is this wire harness? All right, you're gonna need a wire harness for the uh, for aftermarket speakers, and you're gonna need an uh, adapter plates. All right, and then you're gonna need the speakers, obviously. Right? And then right here. We'll take a closer look at the speakers in in a bit. Uh, we'll take a look at everything a little more closely in a second. All right. Um, yeah, so it should be pretty easy. Uh, so before the uh, for this video, I had uh, cut the wires and I put them on um, reverse. Um, so the, um, I did that for the dash speakers and I'm going to do them for the door speakers also because supposedly if you install them without, um, the, these are like backwards, I guess the, the wiring in the RAV4 is backwards. And if you install it without reversing the wires, it'll be out of phase or something. Right? That's for, for that. So that's what I've heard from the interwebs, okay? So I'm just going to do the same thing right um, some of the tools you're gonna probably need are some trim tools all right this is gonna be a little more difficult than the uh, dash speaker install uh, a screwdriver I'm gonna use one of these guys and then you're gonna need a drill all right um, because we're gonna need to drill some rivets and we're gonna need to drill a, a hole in the adapter okay and I will put a link in the description of the video where I got all these from. All right, I got them all from Amazon. I'll put links for them. Uh, and then, um, and then, yeah. So let's go check out the the goodies, and then, uh, and then we'll start installing. Oh yeah. So if you guys are wondering, uh, I will be my my Rav4 is a 2021 Rav4 Prime SE. Okay, without the JBL speaker, without any of the fancy audio stuff. All right, it has like the the most basic speaker system. Right. If you have the one with the JBL speakers you're gonna have to get a different harness I think I'm not I'm not 100% on that but yeah okay so this has the basic like six speaker system all right all right okay so these are all the goodies I got to do the install all right so this is the red wolf wire harness okay and you can see I I had a uh, reverse the wiring okay you, you can't like you can't just switch it because one of them is really small and one of them is really big okay that's the way these aftermarket speakers work and so it's got a different end so it can plug into the the speaker harness on your vehicle okay now you could probably just cut them and then just wire it in hardwire it but this is you know this way it just plug and play for the most part okay and i did that for both of them all right and that's what the packaging looks like it's it's by a company made called red wolf all right, and this is the speaker uh, adapters. All right. Okay, so what these do is they install on your doors, and um, and then they allow the uh, the speaker to mount on here, and then this mounts on the doors. Okay. So, and I have a link for all this in the video. All right, the speakers. Okay, so I'll these be are the speakers I'll be installing. It's a Rockford Fosgate P one six seven five. All right, sixteen seventy five. It's a full range speaker because it has like a, I guess a three way, it's a three way speaker. All right. It's, it's part of the Rockford Fosgate Punch series. All right. Here's some specs on it. Okay. It's a 6.75 inch, six and three quarter inch, three way speaker system, multi OEM adapter plate. Oh, so yeah, it does come with an adapter plate. We'll open it up and we'll check it out in a second. There's a 0.75 and a 0.5 treated PEI dome tweeters all right so it has tweeters in it already injection molded mineral filled polypropylene cone a stamp cast frame structure a vertical attached surround technique rubber surround <laughs> I don't know what that is uh, 60 watts RMS 120 watts peak and the grills and mounting hardware are included okay and they are all right so I went with a uh, six and three quarter or 6.75 inch speaker because uh, I wanted the the bigger speakers the bigger the better right so a lot of people from what I've seen on the internet install six and a half inch speakers and why, why I don't know um, 
I went on Crutchfield and it says 6.75 is the correct size and uh, I went on uh, I went on Amazon and it says 6.75 is the correct size too okay so so we'll see if these fit <laughs> if they don't I'll make them fit all right so here's what you get in the package you've got these adapter plates now I did I did buy these ones these ones are very inexpensive but you could probably use these too but it looks like you're gonna have to do a lot of cutting all right um, if you've got like a Dremel tool and you want to cut through that then be my guess but I, I'm gonna use this okay I'm gonna try to use this but I, I already I already um, mounted the speakers on it and they do fit all right they fit perfectly all right okay comes with the installation instructions And it comes with the two speakers, all right, and the grill. Just take one of them out. Okay, there's the speaker. It comes with the grill. We won't be using that, unfortunately. So set that aside. And then there's the speaker itself. So it's a three-way speaker because it has two teeny little speakers in the center, all right? So you got your, your woofer here and then some tweeters in here, okay? So it's it's got speakers for different frequency ranges. All right, and that's oh yeah yeah so that's one of the reasons I bought the 6.75 inch speakers because these are three-way speakers all right the um, the other speakers are two-way speakers all right uh, the six and a half inch one is uh, six and a half uh, is, is is a two-way speaker so it only has two speakers like a tweeter and a, and a woofer okay so these have a better range that's why it says full range okay there's the back that's what the magnet looks like it's not like a subwoofer it's not like got a heavy super heavy magnet um there you go. it says 60 watts rms 120 watts peak and it's four ohms all right and that's the model p1675 all right that's that's the exact model if you type rockford fosgate p1675 you will find this speaker okay you guys are wondering all right let's uh start the install okay so this is where the magic is gonna happen uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna install the driver's side um, Door speaker and then I'm just gonna make an accelerated video of me installing the passenger side. Okay. Okay So the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to uh, um, cl uh, Clean out all the stuff that's on your door cups. Okay, so I got a little storage tray here I'm gonna go take my fire extinguisher out. Okay Take my hand sanitizer out and all these other goodies, all right? So just make, just clean it up. Because you're gonna be removing the door card. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, and the next step, we're gonna remove the, there's some plastic trim pieces here and here that's gotta come off so we can have access to the screws to remove the door card, okay? <clears throat> so, you're gonna want to do is open the uh, pull on the door handle and then there's a little panel here you can pop off okay no. No, I think the best place is right here it's basically where the door the door lock is what you want to probably want to do is peel it back a little bit yeah just just go in this little hole here and then move it up a little bit Yeah, and then just use your finger to peel it off. Okay. <clears throat> off that goes. That exposes one of the screws. Okay, so the next thing we want to pop off is this trim piece right here. So there is a... Just get a trim tool and pry this open here. Just be careful not to put too much. Don't don't bend it too much. <laughs> That's all. Okay. That's what it looks like. It's got not. It's got no little clips for you to lose or like to leave in the door, except for this one, I guess. But this one stayed in. All right. So just make sure that's still there. Okay. Okay. Now there's three screws that you got to remove. There's one right here. All right. There's one okay. right here. There's one right here. And then there's one right here. 
they're like deep in there so you're gonna need a pretty long screwdriver okay sword. i'm gonna go remove right. said screws something to take it out all right so just remember this one is much longer than the the one that's on behind okay the door like handle. i mentioned you're gonna need a pretty long screwdriver at least for this one right at least this one right here I'm trying to do this blind it's pretty deep in there So now you can pull the door card out. Okay. So I did that. <clears throat> okay, there's a couple wires to detach this one right here and this one right here. And then you can remove the door handle assembly and lock if you I guess unscrew this here there has to be something else holding it in. not 100 you might be able to just let it hang there too okay so I'm gonna go ahead and detach that detach it blind okay there's a this connector right here okay you know you want to squeeze this right here it comes right off like that Okay, it's pretty easy to remove this once the door card is out. Um, you just gotta open the door handle and push out on it. All right here. See, there's a there's a tab right here. Pull up on that, and then it should pop out. Okay. There's another one on the bottom. But if you just finagle it, you should be able to just get it out. And then it just comes right up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go re release this last wire. That right here. Okay. So there's a there's a tab on top of this and it goes in like that. Okay. So you're gonna push pretty much up from where the door card is. It comes out. Okay, there you go, you got it out. Put that somewhere, put this somewhere safe. Okay, just put that door card somewhere safe for now. And then uh, let's go remove okay, the speakers. Okay, so if you look on your bottom right of the door panel, there are your dinky stock speakers, all right? So you can see, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove this speaker wire harness connector right there. Okay. And so we're gonna have to make something like this. All right, but um, so you can see here, there's three rivets holding it on, okay? So Toyota didn't want to make this easy on you, so. <laughs> so there's the three rivets. So we're gonna have to drill those rivets out. That's what the one, that's one of the uses okay, for the drill. So I got a quarter inch uh, drill bit here. I don't know if this is the right size or not, but basically all you gotta do is just, you've just gotta drill enough where the, the rivet will, the head will come off, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do here. Make sure the drill's going the right way. Make sure you're wearing eye protection.
spinning now. Okay, so at some point you'll probably be able to pry it off. I'm gonna get this small pry bar and try to pry it off. There you go. Okay, you could probably just use a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and so one of them is off now. Okay, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just drill the rest of them out. At some point, you should be able to just remove the speaker. It's kind of like glued onto there. I'm gonna have to drill it a little more. So again, a plastic trim tool and then just stick it up behind the speaker. Alright, if it won't pop out, pop it out, try to drill it a little more. This one does not want to come out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so don't want to come out, just make sure you drill it a little more. You're not gonna use any of this stuff anyways. Don't worry if you break it, so. There's the speaker, I got it out. Took a little bit of work. <laughs> okay, just try to get this this stuff out. All right, there should just be a hole in there when you're done. So I'm just gonna get a punch, punch, uh, punch this out. Or, or you can get a pliers and pull it out too. Okay, if you got something sticking out there, you could probably get a pliers and pull, it, pull out what's left of it. Maybe. Okay, that one came out pretty easily. And if you punch it out, make sure make sure you go grab it inside the door. So it doesn't rattle around in there. Okay, so there it is. Uh, if it doesn't want to come out still, I would uh, get the drill again. <laughs> Oops, I didn't get it on video, but I used a smaller punch and I got it out. And it's aluminum, so you won't be able to uh, <laughs> use a magnet to get it out too. So just make sure you look for areas. it is. Okay, I got the last one out. Alright, so now, now all our holes are free, okay? Okay, let's take a look at our speakers for a second here, all right, <laughs> before we install it. So this is the stock speaker right here, all right. It's very light compared to this one, okay, like probably half the weight. Okay, but that's what the RAV4 Prime SE is rocking, and that's how small the back looks, all right. Look at the difference there, okay. It's got this tiny little speaker. It's no wonder this thing doesn't make so much bass. <laughs> now, just in case you're wondering, it's made in Vietnam. It's four ohms, and it's made by Pioneer. Pioneer. Look at that. It's a Pioneer speaker. Never knew that. Interesting. It's actually a good brand. <laughs> Good brand but probably not the best best spec speakers i want to say okay so now we're going to go ahead and uh install the adapter plate before we do that uh, before we do that let's go we got to go line up the adapter plate here and find out where we're going to drill so we're going to need to drill a hole so we can get the um the wire out of the, the adapter plate all right so basically what we got to do Okay, so the kicker speakers that I installed before have some regular screws. If you guys are wondering what the screws look like, there are these Allen head type screws. And I kind of don't want to use them. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use these regular Phillips head ones. Alright, basically we're going to go install this onto here, how we would install it on the vehicle. Actually, let me 
Okay, so I went to the door and I orientated it the way I wanted to install it. So if you look at the door, you've got the two screws here and then there's the one okay, screw I've on the bottom. I've decided to install it with the Rockford Fosgate logo upside down. All right, and I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> okay, it's going to be upside down because the connectors are on the bottom of the speaker. And if you remember correctly, the speaker, uh, the speaker wire harness connects from the top. Okay, so that's why we're going to install it upside down. All right. <laughs> okay. So now we kind of know where we're going to install it. Um, so now we're going to drill a hole in the adapter plate, like right here. Okay, so that's where the connectors are. Okay, so I'm going to drill a hole right on top here in the middle somewhere. I'm using a quarter inch bit. Okay, there's the hole. So you just want to make sure your hole is big enough to fit the wire harness, okay? And I don't think it is. Okay, no, not big enough, so I gotta make it bigger. All right. Okay, so I found out that 1134 fits, fits the hole, okay? So basically this is gonna go, this is gonna go in here like this. I'm gonna just let's clean out all that plastic chips stick this stick the wires in one at a time stick the bigger one in first okay and there you go okay so these screws are way too small for this hole they will not bite into that okay these are the screws that came with my kicker speakers so i'm going to use these little adapt these little um plates okay Basically, it's going to go, you're going to put the bigger end in first, and then the, the other part's going to go on through the back, okay? So, you know, install one of them, all right. Just going to slide it in there like so. Okay, so because there's like another. Oh, the other ones don't have that. Oh my god, what the heck? What are we gonna do? All right, so we're <laughs> gonna have it installed in the door like so. Okay, so this mates up with that. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one of the. Well, I've already put one. One of them's already in. Okay, there. so the problem I'm having is this adapter. It doesn't uh. Doesn't fit. All right, it it it'll go through there. Okay, so that's that's a no go. But if we add a washer to it, it should be fine. I wish they hadn't have made the holes so big. I mean, I guess we could just drill. What we could do is drill another set of holes in it, but I, I would like to use the ones that are already there. Okay, so I think that'll work. Okay, so just make sure you get some water. Ah, oh, you know what else we could use? We could use these. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. I didn't think of that. <laughs> that's perfect. So we're going we're gonna to repurpose these, uh, what's left of our uh, rivets, and we're going to use those as washers all right so there you go <laughs> i love it it's a great plan all right okay so we're going to go with that i hope i can find the other one if not you can just find a washer like i did okay okay now we can try to install it okay so i'm going to slip the this guy in there this is the only one that'll stay in there because there's a thing for it Okay, and it only worked this way because you got to be able to stick your hand through the door to hold those in there. Okay, okay there's one. Got another one of these guys that through there get another one of these so 
this is what we're using right here okay make sure the open part is on right, the front for these ones I'm just gonna squeeze it already so it's easier to get the, the thing in there or something to keep it from spinning pain in the ass might as well just use a bolt a bolt on a washer <laughs> I'll just do it very carefully Okay, I hope that holds the speaker in. <laughs> if the speakers fall out somewhere down the line, well, it'll be, that's the problem. <laughs> now go ahead and install your speaker into the door. Uh, you're gonna have to plug the wires in before you, uh, before you do anything else. Okay, there you go. Then all you gotta do is plug it in. Boom. All right. Uh, and then, uh, then put everything back together. All right, so <laughs> one thing I don't get is why everyone is installing six and a half inch speakers when the 675 speakers fit perfectly. Okay, fits over that perfectly. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Okay, so it's starting to get dark, so I, I'm not gonna look for it, but so the, the stock speaker has this foam around it, okay? So my suggestion is if you got like a little piece of foam, uh, like weather insulation, you could put it around the edge like that, okay? And that might make it sound better and it'll probably keep it from rattling, okay? That's probably what it's for. <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't have any of that right now and I, I think I do, but I, I can't find it. So I'm just gonna install it without it, but you would install it like right around here, okay? That's where you would put it. Right around that rim right there. Okay? That's where that's where that lines up. Okay, so so that's my suggestion. If you got some material like this, some kind of weather stripping, put it around the edge. Like make sure it looks it's like this. It's kind of thin, okay? Okay, so you're gonna wanna put uh all this stuff back. Should be easier installing it than it is 
uninstalling it. <laughs> but we'll find that out in a second, all right? So there's the, the wires, all right? You're gonna wanna connect it to where the where they were before. Okay, there's the two. Okay, for your driver's side. And then you're gonna wanna put your, your door handle and lock assembly back in. Okay, once that's all back in there, start going ahead and I think you, you want to latch it on the top first. Okay. Start popping it back in there. Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway, sorry it was all blurry. And then you're gonna want to put your three screws back in. Just remember the bigger screws go on where the door handle are. And then uh, we're gonna want to pop those trim pieces back in. So here's the, the door here's handle. The door handle it helps if you open the handle and push it back in. Okay. All right. For this one, for this one, you're gonna want to put this. In. You want to start where you where you took it out before, right? It slides in this way, and and then it pops in there. So I don't know why you take it out here, but you also install it there. The way they designed it. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could just pull it out from here too. So, all right, but there it is. It's all back together again. All right, so just do the same thing for the other side, and then uh, then you'll be good. Okay, so I'm just gonna get accelerated. It's it's already kind of dark, so I'm just gonna get an accelerated video of me doing the other side, and then that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching.
All right, one thing you might want to do before you uh, put everything back together, at least for the other door, or, or you could leave both door cards off, is make sure the speakers work, okay? As you can see, it works, it's vibrating. <laughs> you, can, you can see the woofer vibrate. All right. You can't really do that for the dash speakers because they don't vibrate at all. So that is how you install the front door speakers on a Toyota RAV4 Prime, more specifically a RAV Toyota RAV4 Prime, but I'm pretty sure you could probably do this for every other RAV4, fifth generation RAV4, okay? Um, besides the one with the JBL speakers, okay? So that's the speaker that we took out and we replaced. All right, I have to say after listening to the, um, the, the new speaker setup, it's definitely worth it, <laughs> okay? Um, so when I did the dash speaker upgrade, I noticed that the audio sounded a lot cleaner, all right? It, it was much cleaner, you know? It didn't sound so like, like it was in a cardboard box or kind of hollow sounding, um, but that the bass wasn't there, okay? So upgrading the door speakers, they're much bigger than the, uh, than the dash speakers, okay? The dash speaker is basically just a tweeter, all right? Now, um, the speakers that I installed, the Rockford Fosgate speakers, the P1675s, those guys are some serious speakers. It's got some go a good woofer on it, okay? And that's what you need to, to make more bass, all right? Uh, would I say it, it's, uh, honestly, like it would probably sound better with a subwoofer, all right? But I think this is good enough for like, yeah, I don't wanna, we don't, have, we don't need to install a subwoofer now, <laughs> type of thing, all right? I got the bass that I wanted, all right? It's, I think it's just good enough for like, yeah um, I may do the rear door speaker some other time so check that video out if you want to find that out it, find out how to install the rear speakers it's pretty much the same as the front is what I'm gonna say but um, yeah so um, this install was uh, much much more difficult than much more difficult and time-consuming than the front speakers all right the front speakers you could probably have that done in an hour okay if you it was your first time all right um, yeah, these guys were hard to get out because they rivet them on, all right, for one thing. And then I had to figure out all the right fasteners and everything. But when I, honestly, to do the 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 passenger side, since I already knew everything what to do, like where everything was, it took me maybe like half an hour to like 45 minutes, okay? Because I already knew what to do, all right? So total time, I think it took me about probably more than two hours. Somewhere, somewhere between two and three hours is what I'm thinking for the whole, whole dealy. And it's and the reason it took a long time is because yeah, I'm trying to shoot a video <laughs> for, for one thing. Okay, so I would say it, 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 average would probably take someone two hours to do this. Okay, um, and probably less if you knew exactly what you were doing. <laughs> okay, um, so it helps to have like some long screwdrivers. And the hardest part I think is getting the rivets out. All right, getting the rivets out is the most difficult. It, sometimes one of them I was able to cut all right it was sticking out and I cut it and it popped off and then I used a punch to get it out all right I, I use it like a tiny little punch okay no, nothing too big all right and don't and if you're hitting it and it's not coming out don't hit it harder because you it, the 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 door uh, the door the actual door it'll start going inward all right because it's hollow <laughs> all right there's nothing really supporting it but the speaker all right um, Okay, and and then for the drill bits, I will put all I will put all the tools that I use in the description of the video. But uh, for the drill bit, for the drill bit, I use the 1132 to drill the hole for the wiring. All right, and I use a quarter inch to drill out the rivets. All right. Okay, another tool that helps a whole lot is this trim remover tool. You're going to use this a whole lot. All right, to help you pull out the trim and pry pry the trim panels out. All right, and then. Um, it helps taking out the speakers. Um, you stick it behind the speaker because there's like an adhesive back here. It's like glued onto the thing. All right. So, and, and then speaking of adhesives, um, 
there is a like a like a foam padding all right or like a weather stripping around the speakers here and in the back all right there's a like a really tiny it's really it's squished a whole lot all right and uh, I didn't install any of that all right I, I didn't have any on hand all right I think I do have some but I don't know where it went so what I might do is I might go back in there and and redo it again all right but if, if I hear it rattling I didn't really hear it rattling at all so I think it's I think it'll be okay all right and just uh Another thing is like when you're putting the fasteners on, don't put them on too tight, all right? Or else you may crack. I can hear the plastic starting to crack and stuff, so don't don't do that. <laughs> um, don't don't put anything too tight. Just make sure you snug it a little bit. Um, try not to use no, try not to use the, this guy to put it back on, all right? Because <laughs> yeah, it may break it, all right? Um, you can use it to, to drive it in most of the way, and then you just use a screwdriver to, to to finish it off, and then and just snug it, okay? Yeah. Um, and yeah, so having this tool helps a whole lot because you can keep it, you can stick it back in there and then when you're trying to drill those rivets out, it puts pressure on the rivet so it doesn't spin. So that's another good thing. And then, and then the pry bar, little pry bar or screwdriver helps take the little heads off. All right. And, and so I, I learned a little trick. The rivet heads that you popped off, you can reuse them. You can use them as washers for the screws that come with the speakers, all right? Because the heads are so small on these things. Why can't they make any bigger heads, man? Like, at least make it double the size, man. <laughs> so if if the heads were bigger, yeah, we could use them, all right? But if we had a washer, then, then that would work also. So I, I reused the, the rivet heads that popped off. I used them as washers, okay? And, and so that's just less garbage, you know? I'm, I'm reusing stuff, <laughs> all right? Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was educational and helpful. Um, that is how to install the front door speakers on a 2019 to 20, no, currently 2022 RAV4 without the JBL um, premium JBL audio system. All right, thanks for watching. Here's the big out. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh, so if you buy these these Ross, Rockford Phosphate uh, speakers, um, they give you the bit to actually use these screws. <laughs> so so yeah, I didn't want to use them because they use an Allen head on it. Well, they give you the bit to use it. All right. So so yeah, I guess that was a non-issue. Damn it. All right. So I wound up having to use some of these. I ran out of screws. So um, yeah, hopefully you got enough screws. Um, I wound up only. I wound up using six of these six of these little clips all right but yeah i didn't know that it i, I was looking at the screws i was like what's this i was like oh it's a bit for it I'm like no oh, come on <laughs> okay so yeah there you go guys if if uh just in case you're wondering this comes with the bit all right so if you want it when you if you want to use these screws it comes with the bit and you just need like a like a kind of screwdriver tool or a, you know some kind of screwdriver adapter tool for it all right which I did have. <laughs> okay.